Man, I really gotta stop smoking this shit. Well, anyways, what we gotta do for today? Oh yeah, I was supposed to make an unboxing video, but uh, God, I I really gotta find out where that damn box is, guys. I was supposed to get the diecast from Circle B diecast, and still hasn't came in yet. That or no me, I already have a lot of shit in my room. I mean, just look. Wait a second. Something tells me I might know what's going on. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Mystery solved, y'all. So what is up, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and yes, I am back with another video for you guys. As yeah, you guys probably wonder, okay, what's been the hold up with some of the newest Diecast reviews? Well, I was waiting for this special video to tune in for because if you guys are ready for some 2023 NASCAR Diecast, you might be in luck because I got a box right here, and this ain't no ordinary box. It's from our good partners at Circle B Diecast. So go ahead and make sure to use that promo code OBYT to get you guys six dollars off the shipping. And remember, guys, that basically you'll get free shipping if you get like five to six cars, from what I know. So yeah, use that code because like, die casts are pretty expensive, especially when I'm showing you guys right here. As you can see, um, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and start uh, actually be prepared for once. So I got some scissors right here. And we're going to make a nice little incision. Hopefully not on myself <laughs> because as you can see, I'm pretty excited about these die casts. Um, I guess you can say I'm quite authentic. By the way, shout out to my good buddy, Dave Land, uh, for the uh, Dave Land merch. Still got this bitch. <laughs> and with every unboxing, you guys know what we're going to probably do. All right. I can only imagine what's next with the unboxings. That sad packing peanut. More packing peanuts. And top of more and more as I nearly fling a die cast out. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> All right, so here we guys go. We got ourselves six die casts that I'm going to be showcasing. And this is going to be a relatively quick video, but. This one, I actually had the privilege of seeing at, uh, what was it, uh, the Homestead race from last year, which, by the way, Kyle Larson's Homestead win is also available at Circle B Diecast in the Metal Chassis version, so I'll probably provide you guys a link about that and many others. But here is the Chris, or do you still call him Christopher Busher? But Chris Busher's 2023 Fastenal Ford Mustang for RFK Racing, guys. And you guys can see, this car is quite expensive because it does have the, uh, the uh, what was it, the... Uh, the reflective chrome numbers so i mean heck it's about probably like 13 dollars they can get but it's heck man but you can see right here this looks pretty cool i love the nice new refresh look that we got for the fast all scheme um i absolutely love that chris busher now actually has uh you know the rfk font so he actually something has something that looks original and i guess you could say quite innovative uh you know inventive or <laughs> as as you can see i definitely need a lot more fast and to get my vocabulary up in place but uh but yeah, th this is a really cool diecast. I think a lot of people have not really uh, reviewed this car yet, but uh, glad I got this. All right, next up, we got ourselves, oh boy, it is a Ryan Blaney car, and I don't have any body armors with me, so no body armor breaks in this video. So, but this is Ryan Blaney's 2023 Body Armor Sports Water Ford Mustang for Team Penske. This is the car that, of course, Ryan Blaney did a really good job in, and probably almost could have won at the Atlanta race, but that, eh, you know, <laughs> this is when Blaney was having really bad issues um, with this pit crew, but really cool. You also do get, you also get this die cast uh, picked up in wave two of the Cracker Barrel wave and also in NASCAR Authentics um, at the uh, retail line, but, but this will not have the blurry decals. You can see right there it has the chrome rims, the non blurry decals. Um, a fairly nice looking car, I will say that. I mean, uh, the front end might look a little wonky, but that's just part of the paint scheme. But really, really nice. And I know your boy's actually not wearing gloves for once, but <laughs> as you can see, uh, my hands do, do take a beating when it comes to, uh, you know, a model mechanic for a living. But but yeah, we already got ourselves a nice Ford Fest going on right here as I got ourselves more packing peanuts. Maybe I'll land that one right on top of my head. Just kidding. That looks stupid. <laughs> so we are going to be now halfway done right here. And this next one I'm about to show you, you guys probably like, Brian, why are you waiting until the damn Stone Ages to finally review? this truck because this truck has been selling out everywhere guys it is uh one of your defending champions in the uh what's that I think you're 2021 champion i believe uh for the craftsman or i'm sorry camping world or i'm sorry the craftsman truck series ben rhodes in the uh, number 99 uh kubata i believe uh, i don't know how you pronounce that i don't know why i said it like a, like a like a fancy japanese guy I'd be like oh would you like a, some kubata <laughs> but um yeah, this is really cool. I, I've been waiting for this truck and the Kyle Busch Sonoma win truck to come out because you can see this has the, uh, well, it's kind of a dated truck now considering that this is on the, uh, 
the updated Toyota Tundra mold. Um, but as you can see, Ben Rhodes no longer drives the Toyota. He's back with the Ford. So I guess he took some inspiration from my two die casts I just showed in, uh, later in this video. But really nice. I'm actually looking forward to review this because I rarely get that many truck reviews. But I also do got Joe Logano's Planet Fitness car. Well, truck. But heck. So we got ourselves a good variety so far. As we are now about halfway done, and you guys know about the halfway done point, we're going to go ahead and pull all three, the, these next three cars out of the box with the packing peanuts, with some more packing peanuts, as I think one of them is going to ricochet somewhere horrible. And invoice, who needs that? And a box, volleyball. <laughs> as that was a really loud thump. More packing peanuts. All right, so the next three die casts I picked up, and this next one is an Xfinity car, so hope you guys are going to like this. And I'm a big fan of uh, this paint scheme alone and the sponsor. We got our subs, our good old Menards, guys, but this is the Brandon Jones 2023 Geldwin Menards Chevrolet Camaro for the NASCAR Xfinity Series and Junior Motorsports. Um, and a lot of people are probably thinking that this is the first time we ever got a Brandon Jones die cast, but it actually isn't. If you guys remember what, like the 2011 or 2012 uh, Xfinity car, the number 33 car for like uh, Kevin Harvick Incorporated, um, they did make a Brandon Jones version of that car along with Max Pappas and Matt Crafton. So, but really cool, guys. It's been a while. As you can see, the day glow yellow right now does not really want to focus in on this camera. But this car is, the camera's not doing it justice, guys. The day glow yellow. Um, even though I will have to say, a lot of people are like, oh, is this an error on the front hood? No, that is what the front hood looks like. Um, because I guess they really wanted to get their emphasis on the uh, rear camera sponsorship. So, <laughs> so I mean, that, that does look pretty darn goofy. It's like they pulled off what uh, with Freaks House Jr.'s uh, cars from last year. Um, my God, that is... If they could add a logo right there, that would look better. But um, I didn't realize they got the purple Xfinity banner as well. Pretty cool. But um, yeah, I mean, can't go wrong with the Menards car. Am I right? This next one, I know a lot of people are looking forward to me to do this review. And uh, this is probably, I would say, one of the most improved paint schemes that we got so far for 2023. This is... The guy who already has three wins this season, guys, William Byron in his 2023 Raptor Tough Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for Henner Motorsports. And this is the car that William Byron did race and won at, at Las Vegas for the Pennzoil 400. So really, really nice, guys. I... And what's even cool about this car is that this car has a matte finish, guys. And we're probably going to see this car in a, in a future NASCAR Authentics Wave. Uh, but, wow, what an improvement, guys. I mean... Did this right here is just how you take feedback from a paint scheme that was pretty dull and lifeless. Um, I do have the Martinsville race one of that, but I know you guys can be looking forward to the side-by-side comparison of that, but just an absolutely stellar car, guys. Um, just And again, William Byron wanted this car, so we will be getting a race win of the Las Vegas car. So that is just so cool, man. And probably the best for last that I'm probably, as you can see, uh, by the color of my hat, um, there might be some inspiration about this paint scheme that I like about it. But this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. And this car and the Body Armor Sports, are, sports Water car, as I almost said, uh, what, what was my dictionary for a second? Huh. Smoke some more Kyle Cush there, Brian. <laughs> but we got ourselves Ryan Blaney's 2023 Body Armor. Uh, what was it? I almost said Body Armor Edge, but this is the Body Armor uh, Sports Drink Camo uh, for the Cherry Lime flavor. Now, what's really cool about this car, as you guys know, Ryan Blaney was able to get his first big win in the NASCAR Cup Series. And by big, I mean big. I mean, this was the first premier event that he won in. His first Coca Cola 600 win. That's all I'm trying to say. What an absolutely stellar paint scheme, and more importantly, a dominant performance by the man himself, Ryan Blaney, breaking that long winless streak, and more importantly, I mean, th this is just a cool car. And, you know, I kind of want to forget that this car is in Wave 3 because they absolutely butchered it. I mean, but this car has been selling out everywhere, so if you guys were at Charlotte and you did pick this car up, uh, <laughs> good luck because I think a lot of these cars are pretty much scalped now, but just get the gold series man the gold series is so much better um even if they make a cracker barrel wave version of this i mean i highly doubt it because it's on the uh the uh, jat mold or the ptc mold but just absolutely cool as now my camera does not want to focus there's too much camo going on but yeah that's just a little mini die cast haul i want to show you guys so uh hope you guys enjoyed this and comment below which die cast you guys want me to review first and remember i still have a few other cars from wave two i got to review like the uh christopher bell uh yahoo or yahoo and the uh, chase alley henner cars truck so lots of good variety for you guys and including the indycar diecast so appreciate you guys for that but yeah let's go wrap it up guys so like i said comment below which car or truck you guys want to see me in the review station because you know me i will be reviewing every one of these but in no in particular order but with that in mind guys this has been obb the diecast news guy thank you guys so much for watching appreciate you guys' patience and continuing support of this channel um heck 
we're going to be back with some more diecast reviews and a lot more special videos maybe some rants very soon for you guys because heck i know we're in due for another one very soon but again thank you guys for all that this has been obb and i'll catch you guys next time on another nascar diecast haul video and uh yeah keep on collecting y'all